hi guys good morning and welcome so right now it is 10 30 in the morning a little bit later not too bad i woke up at 10 and i've just been in bed since but i'm about to get up hi i just thought today would be the perfect video to do like a summer day in my life because it is summer now and the weather has been i mean it's been so hot well, i don't even want to spend long amounts of time outside unless i'm at the beach or you know i just have a reason to be burning up in the sun but it is a great day and i'd love to take you guys along with me throughout my day i have a whole list of things that i could touch on today i definitely don't think all of them are gonna get done but it's worth a try i mean even if not this would be the source you know the good thing about going to different places is that you know you go to a new location it may introduce you to a new area that may even have things you know in that area to choose from i said i was gonna try a different coffee shop in my last video i did not um i simply just didn't have enough time to do everything i wanted to do in a day which is fine but i mean there's always time to try a new coffee shop so maybe i really want to give the hideout a chance i think the fan is really messing with my nose it feels a little stuff right now but um yeah like they even have acai bowls maybe we should give that another chance i would love to go there but before anything we're gonna get up i'm gonna brush my teeth and we're gonna make just a little something for breakfast <laughs> bathroom now i'm done eating i just ate the rest of the eggs i had left um a bagel and a banana you guys saw but now it is time to get ready i had attempted well i set an alarm i wouldn't even say i attempted to wake up at seven to go work out this morning work some back my upper body is actually kind of sore because i did work on i did lower body but i did work on some pull-ups and i did push-ups so i'm feeling that that did not happen went to bed way too late for that to even be attainable without me needing to take a nap sometime throughout the day even a few days ago I did actually successfully wake up at 7. I started my day way earlier. I went to the gym. I was done with my workout by the time I would normally even leave the house to go. It felt really good. And I could see myself doing that more frequently. But I would just need to actually go to bed at a healthy time in order to function that early in the morning properly. Because I did. I was actually filming that day. But nothing ended up happening with that footage because I just ended up sleeping. I had to go to bed. I was so tired. Definitely took a nap. And then at that point, it's like, okay, why would I go back out to, you know, that's what I just needed to do that day. But I know if I went to bed earlier and got more than five hours of sleep, it would for sure work out a little bit better for me. So maybe one of these days, I'll do a video where I actually do wake up. Like I go to bed early, wake up extremely early, just have a really early start to my day. I have time to do a lot. So I washed my hair last night because I'd slicked it back and I I didn't want to wear a slick bag today. I did not finish drying it till maybe 12.30 in the morning. So this is what my hair looks like after sleeping on it which is insane i don't even think my camera really shows how big my hair actually is oh this feels so good but i was thinking about doing two little low buns today not the ponytails that i did recently but buns but the thing about that once they're slicked down it's almost like a slick back there's no putting it back up so i thought today i'll do a high bun and then i feel like the two buns is more of a day two day three hairstyle because i could wear up the bun for a couple days and then yeah i'm just trying to stretch out my wash and go a little bit more so i'm not washing my hair super frequently but to also help with that i did recently pick up the as i am restore and repair jamaica black castor oil co-wash i used to love as i am co-wash but the last time i purchased it was a while ago and it was a coconut co-wash so i think this is a new one but i actually like the formula of this one better so this way i can cleanse my hair without stripping it i actually did this hairstyle to my hair and looking back it was cute i did it just a few days ago but I don't know the way it looked I feel like certain hairstyles look good with certain outfits or just certain I don't know like sometimes yeah I feel like oh yeah slick back would look good with this outfit you know you kind of want them to correlate and I wasn't like I did my hair it looks really cute but I didn't like how it looked with any of the outfits I was putting on and it was not stressing me out because it's not that serious but y'all have days where yeah like just nothing is really working in your favor in that you know category that scenario and oh my gosh I got to the point where I literally nearly started 
started crying because I was just very frustrated, especially after taking that long to do my hair and I didn't even like it. And that's just me being completely honest. I was like really, I was going through it. Definitely a first world problem, but like, I know some of you guys can relate to me. I mean, hair in general can just be super frustrating, but it wasn't the hair that was frustrating me because it turned out good. I was just being way too hard on myself and just overthinking at its finest. We're going to put all this hair up in a high bun. I'm hoping that my bun looks super big and voluminous today with the way my hair is looking. It would make no sense for it not to, right? Why is it so flat? Really, nigga? Okay, so I am back in my bed and today I just decided, I think I decided this last night, but I just thought it would be fun to do my makeup in bed because one, I don't feel like standing. I mean, I've done that every single time I've done my makeup since I've been here. And yeah, honestly, I just want to change the scenery and I'd rather do it like in front of my TV instead of in the mirror. I just brought this little mirror here. And then also it's better actually to do your makeup in natural light so you can really see what it's gonna actually look like once you step outside into that natural light, into the sun. And honestly, I think the lighting's better in here anyway. So, I've decided this is where I'm gonna do my makeup for today. I just put all my makeup in this bag so I don't have to be going back and forth. I don't know if you guys remember back in 2018, I used to always do my makeup in front of my window in my room. So this is definitely giving me like the slightest bit of nostalgia. done one thing about doing your makeup in natural light the moment you step back into a bathroom you will feel like your face was just airbrushed i've never had airbrush makeup before i don't even know exactly how it works but i just feel like this is what it would look like like it just simply looks so much better but i do the same routine i'm telling you do your makeup in natural light it makes worlds of a difference i'm about to get dressed and actually went to the lincoln road mall yesterday and i picked up an outfit so i went to american eagle and i got this pair of jeans because you know ever since i've gave away i have one pair of jeans now that fit me which are these really cute mom jeans that i have but i didn't have any skinny jeans that i could wear anymore so i got these and they fit great what they look like these are literally a size eight which is incredible like i love a mom jeans moment but you know i also wanted some jeans that kind of hug me a little bit skinny jeans so these are jeggings actually so they're way more comfortable i don't have a single pair of actual jeans i've also been wanting to get waxed recently it's been like over a month but kind of just well i've definitely been stalling because it just it's not fun like it's not something i really look forward to doing too but i definitely want to get that done y'all wouldn't even know that from my last video that i have not had a wax in over a month and for y'all that get waxed y'all know what that looks like and it's fine i just like to you know i normally go at least once a month but i got the jeans on and then i got these two tops the first one that i tried on was this really cute olive green one it's this tank top with a little v-neck i also picked up the white one that also had a taupe and i think they have one other color but i'm definitely feeling the green today okay this is my outfit if my toes were done i would just throw on some sandals but unfortunately they're not i mean it really doesn't matter but like if i'm going to have 
have the dogs on display in the summer i'm gonna need them done so in that case that's completely fine i'll just throw on some forces they'll probably be more comfortable anyway just gonna do the finishing touches which is and then perfume what is as gonna smell like today uh Oh, I have the biggest bug bite on my arm. It was bigger yesterday. It's starting to go down, thankfully, but I kept itching it. Therefore, it just kept getting irritated. I wore this the other day, and I got a compliment on it. I don't like how low they're, like, hanging in this shirt. That's why I kind of wanted to... I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go with this perfume right here. Okay, so we are now in the car getting ready to start our just day of summer festivities. I'm not gonna be going to the beach today because we just made it my last video. Um, you guys will definitely see me do that again sometime soon. But for today, we're just going to enjoy summer in Miami in my own way. The first thing that we're gonna need to do though is get gas because I have eight miles, so. I've been outside for two seconds. I'm already so hot. Um, and why is my gas already at $66? $80. Yeah, that was and I know it's not even full. 184 miles. Like, I do put premium in this car, and that's not really by choice. Like, that's what you should really be putting in this car. But that's actually, that almost ruined my day. <laughs> That's so bad. The under boob sweat. I need napkins to literally just be able to like wipe. And I don't want to be miserable outside today. So I'm so close to just going back real quick and throwing on shorts. No, because then my legs are going to like, because I'm going to have to deal with the heat and the chafing. You really can't win in this weather. So I'm just going to go with it. I have this belt on because my I didn't really like the way my pants were sitting. But I actually hate the way it looks with this outfit. All right, let's go to our first location. All right, so I just got to what's called the Hideout Cafe. So I've actually been here before, um, months and months ago, with my friend Ari, and then I actually talked about it in my last video, and I actually wasn't talking too good about it. Yeah, last time we were here, we didn't have the best experience. I, I had a ice coffee and Ari had a iced chai they were both really awful so could I be potentially you know fucking myself over coming here again most definitely but I really think it's worth a try again and you know if this time doesn't work out all right like that's on me there's no way if they can fuck up these two things right here whatever this is I think it's like an iced coffee and this I have absolutely no hope in the hideout cafe So I'm back home. Um, I'm not staying here. I simply swung by to change my pants because one, wearing jeans in this weather, it was a really cute idea to try to, you know, throw on the jeans, have a little more put together outfit, but not at 87 degrees, feels like 96. I can't make this up. Feels like 96. It's just not happening. And then also while I was at the little cafe, um, these other are so uncomfortable too. I spilled my, I dropped my toast onto my pants. 
So with all that being said, I just don't think it's, you know, I don't think today's the day to wear jeans. I was gonna wear jeans shorts, but even then I'm gonna have to use this to avoid, y'all know, at this point. So I'm just going to throw on some biker shorts. Call it a day. I'm all about comfort and I think you guys know this by now. The jeans just were not doing it for me and I was not about to go throughout my whole day being that uncomfortable. Okay, so I just reached my next location. I'm here at Michael's, like the craft store. I have not been into a Michael's since I was maybe 15, 16 years old. I honestly can't remember the last time. So you may be wondering why I'm here. Like, as I don't see you do anything really, like why would I be here? So I've been wanting to paint for the longest time. I've always, it's always been an idea, but I've never actually done it. And I just mean for fun, like as self-expression. So, you know, I came here to Michael's. I don't even know the tools. Like I'm over here thinking, okay, I know I'm gonna need canvas and paint i don't even know what type of brushes i'm sure i can find you know a set but i was just gonna look up really quickly like what's best to start off with just to you know paint on a canvas craft smart okay acrylic paint that's what i had in my mind but that's probably because i can't think of any other type of paint other than watercolor what type of brushes for acrylic painting yeah i can just get a set they don't have anything super specific Acrylic paints can really destroy natural hair brushes. For a durable and reliable brush to use with your every acrylic painting need, consider a synthetic brush instead. Okay. It is so nice to actually have a parking lot and not have to pay for parking. I will never take that for granted ever again. And forever. I actually really like the atmosphere in here. It's super laid back. Um, this one specifically is just super clean and everything super organized. Yeah, I actually love it in here. But I picked up, I forgot that canvases, they come in packs as well. So I thought this would be better because I'm bound to mess up. But I think the cool thing about art is that there's really no, like you can't really mess up. Like you can if you're trying to draw or paint something specifically, but you know what I'm saying. You can always kind of make it work. But just in case I enjoy painting my first canvas, I have seven more opportunities to continue for the time being. I also got this acrylic paint. I'm about to get it. Um, They had different um, I felt like this combination of colors specifically was nice because it has different shades of the same color and for what I found that I really want to try to recreate and paint I feel like this is a good option for that. Lastly, I don't really know what type of brushes to get. I didn't really see anything that emphasized synthetic um, brushes or anything so I just got these right here and I'm gonna hope for the best. Back in the car, I am so excited. I haven't really done anything artistic in this way since I was younger, but I used to love to, you know, do different crafts and just be more expressive in this way. I used to love to draw. So we're just gonna see it as tapping into that inner child and just doing things that are so simple yet so enjoyable. Like it really doesn't take much. We have arrived to our next location. I think this is the last thing that I'm gonna do actually being out because I don't really have any other reason to be out. Anything else I wanna do, I can really do at the crib. My social battery, like I can just feel it slowly start to fill up. And although, you know, I've only interacted with strangers today, it's just the idea of being out. Past the point I don't need to be, majority of the time I just, you know. I just prefer to be home at that point. So we are now at Trader Joe's, but not just any Trader Joe's. It's not the one I've been to on multiple occasions since I've been here. This one just opened July 1st. It is the third. This is a brand new Trader Joe's. It's been open for two days and I am so excited to visit. Although I've been in Trader Joe's before, I kind of know what to expect. Just the fact that it's a brand new, I don't even have to cross the bridge anymore. Like I don't have to go onto Miami Beach. I mean, boo hoo, poor me. But you know, um, it's closer. I'm very excited. It's in the most convenient location ever.
Okay guys, so I am now officially back home. It's like 4.30, probably nearly five at this point. And I'm hungry and I'm so happy to be home. I also cleaned my place, including sweeping and mopping at like 11.30, going on 12 last night. And I'm so happy I did because now I have a clean space. I walk in and it smells amazing. But yeah, I'm very happy to be home um, just in my clean space with my cats. I'm gonna go ahead and take these lashes off. They were cute for the outing, but oh my gosh, they're just like... I'm going to change into some comfy clothes and show you guys a quick little haul of what I got at Trader Joe's. You guys pretty much saw everything I got in there, so I'm not gonna go into detail. And yeah, just go from there. I am gonna wanna make some food though because the girl is hungry. The avocado toast was only gonna do but so much. Okay. Quick Trader Joe's haul. Three different flowers. I got, these are mums actually. I had no idea these were mums. It didn't ring a bell, but this just brings me right back to school and selling these for fundraisers. These are carnations. And then I'm assuming these are as well because they look exactly the same, but they don't have a label on them. Eggs because I ran out. Asparagus. This vanilla mochi right here is heavenly. Some tilapia. Tilapia is kind of looked down on because it is a fish. It's not a man-made fish, but they're raised in a man-made environment. And from what I've heard, they literally eat feces. I don't know, not the healthiest, not the best option. There's higher quality fish out there, but if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I don't care and I don't think I eat it consistently enough for it to harm me. If y'all want a fish that doesn't have that fishy, stinky taste and smell to it, this is the one because it's a very mild fish. I'm not telling you to eat it, but I am letting you know that I do eat this sometimes. Organic jasmine rice. These are microwavable. They're pre-cooked, so they're just frozen and you microwave them for three minutes. I love this rice. And then I also got a thing of sweet potatoes. These look like great sweet potatoes messy and then i use these bags and i just kind of set them to the side in my kitchen to collect all of my recyclable items like plastic and things like that that i don't throw into the trash so i'm starving it's not quite dinner i could start making dinner it's five but realistically i'm definitely gonna be hungry enough to have at least two more meals today so i'm gonna go ahead and let this stall out it'll be good by the time i'm gonna eat that later but for now i'm eating this crab classic imitation crab this is something i used to love um and eat frequently so i'm gonna eat this and i'm gonna make some rice with it just heat this up and then also some asparagus for a vegetable because i do not eat enough Thank you. 
Did I have options to cook at home? Yes. Did I not literally get tilapia so I can cook dinner? Yes. But I got so into painting that I was not really checking on the time. And the last thing I wanted to do was cook at 9.30. Who cooks at 9.30? I mean, some people do. Kudos to you. But it's already not my forte to cook in general. So 9.30 is really pushing it. And nine times out of ten, it's not happening. And then I can't find anything else that I'm really... Craving. There's so many times I'm hungry, but I don't know what to eat. I'm not even a picky eater, but I couldn't even tell you what I'm craving. But McDonald's is always good, and I haven't been in a minute, so that's where we're gonna go. Hello. Hi. Um, is the drive-through not? Maybe it's just this. This car is leaving the drive through lines, like not moving forward through the actual line. So something tells me no one's gonna answer. Let's see. Oh, literally ran over a fucking curb. That is embarrassing. At least I didn't scrape my rim. That is 10 times more embarrassing. As long as I didn't fuck up my car. Closing soon, McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. I guess this one. Yeah. I'm the type nigga that when I'm front of you, I'm a just press. Uh, I just went through a do not enter for buses only, and it's a one way. Oh, wait, I think I can get out. Okay, so I ended up coming to another McDonald's because the other one was not even open this line at this mcdonald's is so long and they close in less than 30 minutes so like there's this one which is long and then there's this all the way back there these fries are so crispy like fresh out the fryer i haven't opened the chicken nuggets yet because i've been non-stop moving but i can only imagine they'll be the same way 